do you think I ate this cupcake? It was a chocolate peanut butter stout cupcake with peanut butter frosting and a stout drizzle over the top. Want to know how many points it was? Guess you're gonna have to wait and find out. Today, I wanted to talk to you about what I ate this week. Now, this isn't gonna be just what I ate this week. It's gonna be what I ate pretty much over the last two weeks because oh, so many wonderful meals that I wanted to show you all. So let's just jump right on in. The first meal I had was a some sort of roast. I don't know, it's a meat. Uh, green beans and then spaghetti squash and I cooked the spaghetti squash with olive oil and herbs and it was delish. With that we also had a side of tomato and grilled watermelon salad and oh my goodness this was so delicious. It was watermelon, onions, um, tomatoes and some olive oil and I think we put strawberry balsamic vinegar on it and it was to die for. And of course my standard yogurt and blueberries for breakfast which I took to work and a big old chunk of watermelon because we had that leftover from the salad the night before and I'm all about the watermelon. And then this is my leftover baked potato with everything. Basically what I frequently do when we have baked potatoes, there's almost always at least half to a whole leftover. So I take the baked potato and I'll put some light butter on it. Um, then I'll layer vegetables and this particular one had bacon and all different vegetables that we have in the fridge, grilled vegetables usually. And then I put a bunch of fat-free mozzarella cheese on the top and this makes a fantastic lunch for me for work. And then this sandwich was delicious. Mauricio made it for me. It was an egg white with a piece of bacon and two pieces of bread and he put about a teaspoon of mayonnaise on it. Some people like mayonnaise on their their egg sandwiches, some people like butter. I'm a mayonnaise girl but I'll take butter. And Mauricio made this for me and it was so good, mostly because I didn't have to make it myself. And then I took the, the day off and took Melina to get her physical for kindergarten. And after her physical, it was time for her lunch and I had to get her back to camp. So we stopped at Wendy's and I wanted to eat lunch oh so desperately, but I didn't. And I got a small size fries and I had that for my lunch. I, I went home and I had a salad after that. The following morning breakfast, I had one light baby bell with a half a piece of Joseph's flax oat bran and whole wheat lavash. I love this stuff. It is super low in points and it is really, really soft and it makes a fantastic wrap or if I'm just looking to eat something in a hurry, it makes a fantastic like cheese tortilla sort of thing. It's excellent, I highly recommend it. And then this was Friday night. We ended up having, ordering takeout and I got a falafel salad. Those are two bacon Asiago pinwheels and I of course ate the two bacon pinwheels and I ate only a small amount of salad because I wasn't terribly hungry. And the pinwheels are, for as small as they are, they are surprisingly filling which probably means it's like a whole piece of pizza rolled up into one pinwheel. <laughs> yeah, those were high points. And for Saturday morning, I went out for breakfast with my mother. I've mentioned in the past that my mother and I go to Weight Watchers on Saturday morning. My dad frequently cooks breakfast at the house on Saturday morning and my dad loves all things fried and bacon and unhealthy. And it's really hard to come home to that after going to Weight Watchers. So my mother and I frequently go out for breakfast and this particular day we went to Silver Diner and I got, it's like a huevos rancheros with vegetables. So it's egg white. I didn't have them put avocado. I didn't get the egg yolk and I, had them leave off the cheese. So it's mostly just grilled vegetables with egg and ranchero sauce. 
and a fantastic like quinoa underneath and it is delicious and relatively speaking low points and it it's a huge serving and this is what I ended up taking home that was my breakfast the following morning as well. And then that day I snacked on some of the most interesting grapes I have ever had. They're called cotton candy grapes. And they shockingly taste like cotton candy. I got these at Trader Joe's. They are super expensive though. I, I think that whole pack, the whole huge pack was like $7.99. But they, I was dying to try them. And I, I kid you not, I think I ate the whole container in like two days. They were so good. And then we went to a uh, birthday party that night. I had to take something. So I took a tomato uh, caprese salad and what I frequently will alter a caprese salad. And so in this particular caprese salad, I layered the bottom with lettuce and then I put a two layers of tomatoes and you can see that there are brown tomatoes and red tomatoes and green tomatoes in there but they're all um, heirloom delicious tomatoes and then I also added whole milk mozzarella with a lot of basil and purple onions and then I did a balsamic glaze I made I put balsamic vinegar in a pot on the stove and I reduced it until it became a really thick syrup and then I drizzled that over the top and that kind of hardens almost to like taffy and it's it's a great little texture to add and that is truly delicious it is this is one of my truly favorite salads and it is so yummy and then at the party we also had roasted pig which conceptually grosses me out but once it is on a plate. So yeah, here is that amazing cupcake. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know I did not eat it, but I had, oh, I fought it. I wanted this cupcake so badly. I mean, look at it. It is beautiful. It was made by a friend of mine and she is an amazing baker. And it was in fact a chocolate peanut butter stout cupcake with peanut butter frosting and a stout glaze or drizzle with a peanut butter cup on the top. And it just looks amazing. And I didn't eat it. And equally as tempting, I know everybody will think I'm crazy, but these loft house cookies are like my favorite cookies in the whole world. And yes, I realize they're cookies that children eat, but I wanted it so badly. And I didn't have it. What I did have was this white claw hard seltzer with natural lime. And it was, I believe, 90 calories. And so in the world of alcohol and Weight Watchers, it was not a bad deal. So I was pretty pleased with myself. And then Monday for work, I had my, my father smoked salmon for, he smoked a salmon to take to the party that I just talked about. And he also smoked a salmon for event the following day, which I didn't have any pictures of. He made a whole extra smoked salmon just for me to take to work. So I chopped that up in a bunch of things and I put it in the freezer. I won't get sick of it, we'll always have it. And what I did here, this is my favorite way to take smoked salmon to work. And whenever I bring it, my coworkers tell me I'm fancy. <laughs> And um, I put capers and dill and purple onions on the side of the smoked salmon. And then this looks like um, sour cream. Normally I would use sour cream, but on Weight Watchers, I don't. This is actually my yogurt and I've strained it so it's super thick. And I put a thin layer of yogurt on my Wasa crisp and light cracker and it keeps the points down and it's delicious. And I will tell you, these Wasa crackers are super hard to find, but I absolutely love them. They're super crunchy and they're very, very, very low points. And they are my favorite. So I order them in bulk on Amazon and I always have them. And then this morning for breakfast to take to work, I normally would have blueberries and yogurt, but this morning one of my coworkers gave me wine berries. And I know they look like raspberries, but they are not. I don't know if you, when you were a kid, you went and picked berries, um, mulberries or blackberries. It had a very earthy, natural flavor to it. Um, they come came straight out of her backyard and they are so delicious, but they do have a lot of seeds in them, so they're super crunchy when you eat them. 
this breakfast made me smile. And I just, I put the plain yogurt that I make all the time and I drizzle some stevia over it to sweeten it a little bit and then just eat it with the fruit. And this is super filling for me for breakfast. And you can see that these berries are super de duper tiny. They're like smaller than my fingernail. They're really small and they are so good. And then my last meal, I had a side salad with my husband. We decided to go out for lunch one day. He was having a rough day. And so I told him to go ahead and meet me out for lunch. And we took our blow money for that week and we paid our $24 bill with the blow money and split the change that was left over. And that was super fun. And that is why we keep blow money in the budget. Happy belated 4th of July. We just got back from the sweatiest, stinkiest 4th of July parade. It was super cute. We decorated Melina's bike all up and we went out and she had little flags on her helmet. It was so cute. And this is what happens when you get tired from riding in the parade. So anyway, I, my parents are having people over for the 4th of July. And so I have to go get food ready. I hope you all had a fantastic 4th of July and let me know how it was. Did you do anything so exciting? Leave me a comment down below. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And this is my latest video. And this is a video that YouTube has picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.